a barrier-breaking promotion today at the D.C. Fire Department. For the first time in the department's history, a woman holds the position of assistant fire chief. News for us, Pat Collins has more on what this moment means to her and to the department. Queen Anune, A-N-U-N-A-Y. Tough to spell, easy to say. A name you're going to want to remember. Queen Anune, first uniform assistant fire chief in the history of our city. And she outranks her twin sister, who's an inspector on the department. So when she comes in the room, do you have to salute her? Yes, that is chief. That is my chief. Tell me about your twin sister. She is my strong side, my everything. She is everything that I could not be. Chief Donnelly. Yes, sir. Why did it take so long? <laughs> I should have predicted that question, and I don't have an answer for it, but I'm proud we're here now. In recent years, the number of women firefighters has grown. They now represent about 14% of the force, with about two dozen women holding down leadership positions. Things but the chief, People are the chief wants those numbers to grow. We haven't done a great job of selling it to our community as a great job for women um, and, and other demographics. So we have a lot of work to do. A class of firefighter recruits in the back of the room as Queen Anune was installed as assistant chief. What is your message to all those young women out there in our city? Never dare to dream. Bring your own energy to the table and build your voice. The dream of growing up to be the fire chief, not just for young boys anymore. I'm Pat Collins, News for Washington.